Howdy, beautiful Bart here, and welcome. Pardon the fan noise in the background, it's a little bit warm in this room. Alright, so, parachuting. Well, got a blank project here, and what I are going to do is my usual. Go ahead and just create a, a basic terrain system. And we're only going to do 2 by 2 we don't really need anything big. And create. I'm not even going to put any materials on the ground. Nothing. I are going to make sure that it went to zero. And also make sure that we've got our... Hmm, we need a character. So let's add new feature content pack. Third person, add to project. Awesome. Now we'll go in here, create a new folder called Maps, and we will save this map. Test map. Lovely. And let's go ahead and do a build real quick, just for the hell of it. Alright, so... As soon as it finishes this first little build here, we'll set our game mode override, and... Game mode... Mm -hmm. Built lighting on nothing. Go ahead. Hurry up. Are you done? How about now? Delightful. Well, let's go. Just because I didn't want to deal with it anymore. Game mode, third person game mode, and set play. The old mouse cursor that I, I love so much. We'll do save all, save selected. Go to our third person character blueprint. And of course, the first thing I'm going to do is. Event begin play. Because you know how much I enjoy that mouse cursor. Another thing I'm going to do is edit our preferences because Unreal Engine 4 is retarded and it never remembers my settings. No matter how many times I try to set it as default or anything else, it just does not remember. So, kiss my ass, I'll waste time doing this. Thank you. So, we'll do set input to game only. And we will get player controller. Set show mouse cursor. Leave it unchecked. And delightful. Okay, so now when we hit play, we have no mouse cursor. We just go right into controlling our character. And we are set. Now, one of the things I would like to do is... Um, right now, we move our mouse cursor. And it's not moving or controlling our character, so that's something we're going to address. Plus, when we come into the map, we have a player start. Let's go ahead and move our player start from 112 to 10,000. So now, we can see, we are in the air. We are falling. And this is the in the air. It's the same animation as when we're jumping and we want to create our own separate animation to look like we're parachuting or using a glider or what have you. So we're going to need a parachute. We have a cone. So let's actually go into our third person character and hmm, let's go to our mesh viewport. So we can see what we're doing. And let's add a component. And let's see if we can find. We'll do a cone. I am trying to move you. Thank you very much. So we'll just put it to right here. I'm not going to worry about doing strings and all that lovely stuff. And we'll just scale it out to, screw it, we'll do four 
by four by point five. Isn't that beautiful? So we can see we got a parachute. Yay. Of course, our fall speed is normal, and everything else is good to go. Um, so we want to actually make it to where the parachute is only visible when we're parachuting. Then when we hit the ground, we want it to go away. We want to have that slow fall effect of being in a parachute. Um, and if we look around here, if we just fall straight down. Let's actually take in our player character is actually our player start is at zero zero but it's at ten thousand so I'm gonna grab a cube I'm gonna put it at zero zero and I'm gonna change its size I'm just gonna make this a landing pad so we know that this is our target zone um, let's actually just make it two by two Eh, by 0.25. That's good enough. So we know that right now this is going to be dead center in our map. And if we don't touch anything on our controls and we just fall straight down, we land right in the middle of it. But if we move our character, we try to walk. You see, we actually made some progress. We, we moved, in other words. So really quickly, to speed up the process of testing things, Let's go ahead and just create a key binding. So I'm gonna come over here and we'll hit the T key and make that respawn this. So keyboard T. No, not tab. We want the keyboard T. When we press the keyboard key T, we want to set actor location. No, I was typing in one thing. Set actor location. I don't need the rotation. Target should be self, and we'll put this back at 10,000. Um, so, we come out here and we do our thing, and now if we hit the T key, it'll respawn us back in the same location. We're trying to see when we look down because our parachute, but we know that it's working. If I walk over here again, and we're on that. So we can just keep retesting our, our parachute animation and, and so forth. So the next thing is we need an animation for when he's actually falling through the air. Um, really complicated to do this. Um, so let's go to our mannequin folder. Animation, third person idle. I'm just gonna duplicate that and parachute. And go into it. Now I'm going to hit pause and I'm going to scroll back to zero here. Um, actually, no, I don't want that one. That's just a regular idle. Let's do um, third person jump loop and we will duplicate that one and parachute. So we've already got some like movement stuff going on there. So again, just hit pause, rewind back to zero, and I'm gonna make a few changes to my character. I am going to grab his leg and kind of straighten it back out a little bit. Gotta match the other one. Uh, let's kick it out. Oh, not the lower leg. Let's get the upper leg and rotate it out. Let's get that foot angled back up some more. A 
looks a little awkward. And just kind of tweak around the initial start pose. Does not have to be perfect because I'm not trying to win any awards for this uh, this animation here. She looks more like he's frightened than anything. But again, you know, if you're making your own, you make it look however you want. Um, so that's good enough. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit key and apply. And now when I hit play, eh, it's tacky as crap, but it'll work for now. And I'm just going to hit save and close. Now, we can also do um, right-click on it, and let's create a animation montage. So, now we have that. We have an animation montage that looks like crap. So, next thing we want to do is, while we're floating through the air, um, let's actually take a look at our third-person animation blueprint. And I don't need you. And you will come back to this. So we're going to branch off from here. I'm going to look at this. And I'm just going to take a moment to clean it up just a hair. We want that try get pawn owner is going to be important. And we got our is valid. These guys, we'll just slap them over here. Sorry, you guys know I've got a lot of OCDs and I gotta neaten things up. Oh, that's close enough for government work. Yes, I think the Trump administration will be happy with my blueprints. Anyway, so we got all this. We already have is in air, set is in air, and is falling. So while we're falling, um, we want to use these triggers if we can. Go ahead and compost and save. Now, with all that, we want to try to use some of that, but we also have to take in mind that... Um, if we're running around on the ground and decide that we want to jump, now we're is we're in the air again. So we're doing that same thing. Another thing we can also do is take our cone and short term, I am going to check hidden in game. So for now, we don't see it. So you can see what I'm saying here is we're in the air, now we're not. We're in the air again, and now we're not. So that's how it's judging to do the jump loop animation. Um, we know that for our character, we're going to, from event begin play, we're going to be parachuting. We're going to be falling. So how can we judge that? Well, we can create a custom event and we're going to call this parachute parachutting I don't know my spelling is not award winning so while we're parachuting what we want to do is um, play anim montage and let's see if it actually works. Because I've had some problems with this recently. Um, and what I'm going to do here is go back to my event begin play. And I'm going to plug it in right here. And I want this to be looping. But 
for now, we're just going to... Actually, let's do... Play a montage. Set that montage. And then... Um, plug that in here so we have a reference to our mesh. Doing the montage. And let's just see if it works. Um, so that we know that it's working. Um, let's do print text. Hello. And on completed print text. And we're going to change this to done and para shooting. So if we do this, okay, parachuting and done. It it did the animation, so it's done. It didn't actually play the animation. Um, so let's actually instead for right now, let's actually do um, play animation. And let's actually do the actual animation. And we can set it to looping. Trouble is, is we can't do anything. We can't say, you know, we're, we're done at that point. So we can get rid of this one. And actually we can get rid of this one. There, we're doing our animation. It looks absolutely terrible. So, the next thing we want to do here is we want to find out if we are on the ground. Is on is moving on ground character movement and probably not the best way to do this I might have to come back and redo this um, is true then what we need to do is let's grab mesh and Set anim instance class. And we'll go back to third person animation blueprint. It's probably not going to work with that order. You can actually close this. Um, This is your your way of testing. Let's actually just break this. What in the fuck is that? Event tick. Thank you. Don't like using event ticks, but we're just testing something out here. Essentially, what we're wanting to do is detect that we're on the ground. And if we are on the ground, then we want to change our, our animation back. So we're doing our animation and absolutely just flipped out. Alright, so this is where I've been having issues with Unreal Engine 4, especially with 422. It absolutely just breaks all to hell and back. And things that should be simple that actually work no longer work, and it breaks and crashes. I don't like using event text to begin with. Um, so I'm going to 
go back over here and get rid of all that. So let's look back at our animation blueprint. Fucking open back up. So is in air. So let's actually take a look at getting the correct order. Setting up a new state. Parachute. So we want to go to and from that state. And for now, it's not going to be the way I want it to be, but let's actually grab this and just plug it in here. Is in air. So how do we get into the state? We need to be in the air. So we get out of that state. Well, we need to do basically the same thing, but we want to add in between not boolean and now when we're not in the air we're not in that trend that um, animation so we go into it and just take this and plug it in here so we're going to play the parachute animation when we're in the air so you suck donkey nuts get on my freaking map to make sure that we go into this map anytime we start, we can go into project settings and maps and modes. Editor startup. Test map. Game default map. Test map. Thank you. Game mode. We want to always be third person game mode. And there we're good to go. So now we hit play. We're doing the animation, and now we're back to walking again. But if I jump, we're doing this. And it, it's not exactly what we want to do. So we're going to end up having to come back and put in something in between here on our transition for is in air. Uh, we also want to have another variable here that we can actually call and I guess for now we'll just call it parachute compile and save default is unchecked so we're not doing it by default and I'll have to go back and, and reset that but for now let's actually continue on for the fact that we are now parachuting we'll fix the other portion of it later now we're just doing our regular animation so it's nice and smooth it works um, we need to let's see here and actually we got that variable there go back into the animation blueprint I'm trying to close it up yet um, is it is in air let's actually go to cast to third person character and for our object reference I'm going to go from our try get pawn owner and connect that into there and we're wanting to use this as an air and what I want to do here is set parachute um, we also want a branch node. So we connect in here. And if it's false, if we are no longer in the air, is in air, false, set parachute to false. If it's true, can actually do the same thing here. Put one of those in and set that to true. Now, 
We've got those. They're triggered by the animation blueprint. You have an error. Why do you have an error? Oh, because I didn't connect you. Kiss my ass. You know what the hell I was talking about. So. In here. Again, I hate using an event tick. But. What we need to do is set up a condition that. If parachute is equal to true. Then. The. Let's just call this our. Um, uh, let's see, we'll just call it our parachute canvas. So, again, we've got the, um, the parachute. We want this to be not hidden in game anymore. And what we want to do is tell it to become invisible. And again, I hate using event tick, but in this case, it's only going to be short term, and then it's just not going to be used. So put in a, a branch node, grab that parachute reference. Then we're going to grab a reference to our parachute canvas. And we want to set visibility. Now we're going to use two of them. So if we are parachuting, visibility is true. If we're not parachuting, it's false. So. Oh, why don't you just lick my butt? You know good and damn well that's supposed to be connected. So, we can see we got a parachute. Parachuting around, and now it's gone. But, again... <laughs> it's just going to be stuck there until we, we actually come back in and set up a series of variables to actually cancel it from working when we're jumping. So what we can do here also is, you know, I'll worry about that part of it later. Let's get the rest of it functional. So if I am parachuting, another thing we also want to do is we want to grab our character movement. Now in our character movement, we have uh, a number of things that we can look at. Gravity scale being number one right now, because we want to affect that gravity. Gravity is multiplied by the amount of this character. So, sitting at 1, 1 is normal gravity. So, let's actually draw out here and let's say... Set gravity scale. And I'm going to control C and control V. And connect you so I don't have to say bad words. At this point, we want to set it back to 1 because we're not parachuting. And let's do 0.3 while we are parachuting. And let's actually connect it so it'll work. So now, when we're parachuting, doesn't really look all that spectacular. Uh, let's see here. Set gravity scale. far into the spectrum. It is flowing a lot sm uh, slower. You see we covered a lot more distance there. Um, you could actually even take it down even more. 0 0.01 
floating around here. And the trouble is the uh, the camera is going to see that parachute. And we'll probably be able to float all the way off the uh, the map here if we're not careful. But moving our mouse around is still connecting it. See, we're on the ground. But here's the problem. So now I just hit the jump key and it put me back into parachute mode. So we, we got to disable that. So we can hmm. on the event tick when we are no longer parachuting, let's try just um, putting in a condition that says we can no longer parachute. And then what we're going to have to do is set this up here. Let's set a variable. Can parachute. And then what we're going to do is just we can on the event tick. We're, we're starting off this way. Uh, let's go ahead and put in another branch. Because at the very beginning, can parachute should be set to true. So all this is going to just run right through. And work like normal. But at the end, after we say that um, parachute, we're actually on the ground. want to do here is hmm. we'll have to set a trigger up to once we are on the ground um, is on or is moving on ground We need to kill it. So what we're going to have to check here is we'll set up a uh, system similar to that so we can actually disable this. Um, if we can parachute, then we are parachuting and it is true. Then we're setting our gravity to this. Actually, you can probably think about five other ways of doing this to where go through and disable that portion of it. Because what we want to do here is as we're parachuting down, we want to you see we just totally fell normal speed here because this was set to false now we set it back to true again see we're going back to our slow fall so you can adjust the speed of whatever you want we have some directional control with our forward WASD control Plus, moving the mouse around can actually help guide us a little bit. So we can sail around. We can kind of pinpoint our location of where we're actually going to go to. So, and then when we get to the ground, and the parachute goes away. We're going to have to do this. Is in air. And then we can actually branch this off. Not branch, but sequence it off. Because what we need to do is, once we're on the ground, we need to disable parachuting completely. And actually going to dump that portion. And we're going to dump this portion. So, when we're parachuting, if parachuting is equal to true, we're setting our gravity. Um, we may actually be able to do this in the um, animation blueprint, and it'll probably clean it up a lot better because I don't want to use an event tick. So let's actually look. Right now, we are back to normal, normal fall speed. We still have control. You see, we need to be able to trigger it to get rid of that. So let's see if we can do this all in the animation blueprint. 
All right, so here we cast our third person character. Probably get away with cast a character, but we're going to stick it with this because this is the only one we're really worried about right now. Um, is in air. If it is true, then we're setting this this variable system. And what we've done here was create it to where when we're parachuting, it checks to see if we're in the air, and it checks and if we're not in the air, then it disables it. We need to add another condition in here. Is in air is not going to be good enough because again, what's happening is we get here on the ground. and we can continue to parachute. So, parachute is true, then we want to ensure that um, uh, let's see here. What is Parachute canvas. Let's see, wait a minute. Um, destroy component parachute canvas. Set parachute to no. Now, another thing also, we can set up a, um, a variable in here. And can parachute. Damn it. Sorry. Yeah, you guys gotta remind me sooner. Is um, I've got to remember to go in there, and I thought I disabled that key. I hit one certain key, and it just changes my scene automatically. And it was set to a different scene. Sorry, so we're we're casting to our third person character, and I'll, I'll probably have to reshoot this whole damn video because I may have lost too much of it. Um, parachute canvas destroy component, so it's going to get rid of that. Let's see if that actually helps. So we see we we got our crappy canopy, fly around, boop, and it did not destroy it. So yes, yes, we see. Um, we'll come back to that. Um, with this, um, I've got to get my shit together here. So we've, we've got that is in air, and we want to expand from that, and. We want to get whether or not we can parachute. So, is in air. We need to also get. Um, all right, let's do. You out of the way. We've got our, our key set up to let us reset our height. And for now, I'm going to go ahead and hide the parachute so we can actually see what we're doing here. Um, so yeah, we're, we're doing the animation. That's working fine. We get on the ground. We're back to walking normal. But we need to disable it. Once we hit that ground, we need that bang. We're done. We're no longer going to do that animation. So, let's try another event tick for now. UE4 is being rather unstable with 422. Event tick. Character movement. is moving on ground um, and 
and then of course branch is on ground then from here we want to disable the ability to do the parachute um, so we'll get can parachute set so character movement if we're moving on the ground which will be true can parachute then get set to false it is true by default so then in here get can parachute and then we want to set this variable actually run a branch connect this into here so we're gonna get this can parachute and I'm just gonna put two of them in here control C and control V so if it is true can parachute then we can no then no then come back into here and on our two transition is in air is fine but we actually want can parachute then we can enter that transition that's probably not gonna be the way I want it to work so I will come back in and refine that so we're falling we're falling we're falling we haven't set our gravity yet and now if we jump we're not able to do it anymore so actually another thing with this let's um set can parachute to true so when we hit our reset key I'll change the gravity again here in just a moment and you know the canopy on and off so now if we want to set it again hit T it allows us to go back into falling again and resets that so we're good this will work for now um, we can also come in here and get reference to our canopy our parachute canvas um, I want to get an object reference to it here and we want to set visibility we're going to turn it off we're also going to go back in here in just a moment and set the uh, the fall speed so we can actually be parachuting down so if we can parachute faults so we're no longer parachuting we're turning off the visibility of the parachute so let's actually go back here and turn it back on so we got our parachute we are parachuting down as soon as we hit it goes away and we're good so what happens if we hit T again parachute doesn't come back but we can just do this set visibility to true So now we have this we are parachuting we have a parachute we have a really terrible animation and now we go back to our normal scheduled broadcast and looking at um, Manny's ass here or his crotch either one whichever you prefer so if we hit T again now we're back to parachuting now go back into our animation blueprint let's set up some fall speeds our gravity um, let's grab reference to our 
learn how to spell T H A R A C H character movement. Um, shit. Well, let's since it's being an ass here, give me away too much. Um, Capsule component, character movement, get gravity. No, I just want to do um, character movement. Just want to get character movement. Uh, let's see here. Where's the actual frickin' thing? Um, Get gravity Z. I just want a character um, movement reference. I don't want all the other shit right now. I will plug the other stuff in. Um, well, shit. Um, character movement. I just want that. Character movement here. Um, why are you being such a pain in the ass? Because I want that. Gravity scale. Now if I just type in gravity scale nothing comes up. <laughs> oh, you suck. Um, character movement. I just want the character movement reference. Get character movement. Damn, right there. So, here, get character movement. And set gravity scale. That's what the hell I wanted. And here, we will set it back to 1 so that it's normal. But on can parachute. Let's actually take that and set it to point zero one. And I'm just gonna plug that into here. So if we can parachute, then our gravity scale is set to zero one. So now really damn slow. Again, parachutes block them. We could have done something with the camera so that wasn't an issue where we weren't having our, our view disrupted. Um, if you really want to be clever, you can come in here and, and set up a key binding to disable it where you hit space bar maybe and your, your parachute goes away and then you hit it again and it redeploys it. But then once you get on the ground, you're no longer able to continue doing it. So, all right, we're just about on the ground here. Get back to our normal. We jump, and our gravity is not affected. Yay! And there was much rejoicing. And if we hit T, it sets us back into that, and we're falling archaically slow again. And once we hit the ground, we'll go back to normal. All right. 
I'll probably come up with about 10 other ways of making corrections to this. Specifically this lovely animation. And isn't, isn't that beautiful? That is so awesome. You know, it's such a terrible freaking animation. But for, you know, a minute of just moving hand positions, leg positions around, just modifying the jump loop animation, who cares, you know? It's not like this is a production quality uh, that I'm working on. Yay. And we're on the ground. Gravity's normal. And there was much rejoicing. Alright, any questions on that? That's all I wanted to do, and, and unfortunately the first half of the video, everything was frickin' invisible. So what I'll probably end up doing is deleting this entire project and redoing it and redoing the entire video here. But for now, we're going to leave it as it is. If anybody want, wants to take a gander at what was being done, this portion of the animation blueprint is unchanged from the original third-person animation blueprint. I just moved everything around. I used a try get pawn owner reference to plug into third-person character. And from there, I utilize parachute and can parachute and in fact, I'm not even using the, uh, the, that, yeah, so I'm not even using this variable, sorry, I didn't actually delete it, so it shouldn't affect anything, so I added a, a can parachute, I added a reset system so we can test it, and all that is just setting the actual location, and throwing them way up in the air, up to like 10,000 on my Z height, and it's setting the can parachute back to true and turning visibility of the parachute to on again on the event tick it's sensing and this is only going to fire off while you're parachuting the very first time pretty much after that it's set to yeah be disabled because can parachute is on by default and it's going to fire off one time and I'll come up with another way to avoid using an event tick but for now, it was uh, an ends to a mean, a means to an end, whatever. So in here, we're calling back that can parachute and running a branch node. If we can, then we're setting a variable that we created in here called can parachute. Turning it on if we can, off if we can't. And while it's on, our gravity is really low and our parachute is not visible whenever we're off in that way. We could also, but it's working, so I have no need to actually put it in here. We could also add another one in here to ensure that we're turning off our parachute, but that's being handled elsewhere. So this works, gets the job done. So you can actually parachute. You see you have a parachute. It's got, we got an animation. All of them are absolutely terrible. You have control, but I have to change the camera positioning so that it it's not looking directly at the uh, the canvas when you're looking down. But again, it wasn't meant to be perfect. It was just meant to get the point across. You have control of your gliding while you're falling. Fall for an hour. Um, <laughs> let's change that just a wee bit because I'm very impatient. We'll do point one. It's going to be a little bit, a lot faster than it was, but for demonstration purposes, we're going to fall a little bit faster. But like I said, we have the ability to control our, our descent and, and how we're aiming. We can direct ourselves to distant points. And when we hit the ground, parachute goes away. Gravity goes back to normal. It doesn't re-trigger whenever we hit jump. So there was much rejoicing, and we're good. And we didn't even need the, the parachute montage. Delete that. And this animation, again, all I did was I took the, um, the jump loop animation and modified it. And then once I modified the positioning of everything, and I'm just going to do this again. And when I'm happy with everything, hit key and apply. And now I'm going to hit play again. 
that's what it does. It's terrible. You can make it as perfect as you want to. I am not an expert on making animations. So, there we go. Alright, I'm going to take a break for a little while, and I'm going to see if I can revise this a little bit more, and then I will make a much more concise version of it, so it actually looks better and works better. And this can be used, like, for battle royales, and for what have you. You don't have to set it up to where um, it's completely disabled. You can set other conditions that uh, will allow you to re-trigger it and go to parachuting again. You can set up airplane animations, and you know, spawn from that and when you hit space bar you spawn and then you parachute. Yeah, you can do whatever you want with it. But this is just to get you started in the right direction for the necessary ingredients for making it work. Yeah, the view thing is just gonna bug me. Because if I, if I don't actually change anything on my direction and just go hands off on the keyboard, then it's going to land right there on that little center white square. You move my mouse around, but I'm not using my keys. And right there in the center. And now I'm going to, wherever I, WASD controls work, I don't have to use the mouse if I don't want to. I can use my keys. You can set it up for, you know, gamepad controls or whatever. Alright guys, thanks for watching and we will see you after a while.